hormone imbalances cause many symptoms like moodiness and irritability, but according to our next guest, could also affect your chances of getting breast cancer. Here with more is Dr. Clark Hansen from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine. It's good to see you, Dr. Nice Hansen. Yeah. Now you're kind of referring to a recent article that right. was published. Recent study, not a small study, this is done by Harvard's um, Public School of Health. And it's a huge study, 40,000 women done in Norway. They found that mammography, getting an annual mammogram, actually leads to overdiagnosis in as many as 25% of all the cases. So one out of four women will be overdiagnosed with a cancer they don't really have, wow. that they should never have to worry about. So small that it's really going to be inconsequential throughout their life, never cause symptoms, never cause any harm or death. And yet they will go through the same treatment that any woman would with a progressive type of cancer. They'll get um, surgery, either a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, chemotherapy, radiation, and if you know anyone that's ever had breast cancer and gone through chemo, they live with chemo brain the rest of their life. They're yeah. just never as sharp again. So 25% of the women in, in this country, 886,000 women are diagnosed with cancer every year, and that means 47,000 of them are getting um, treated for cancers that would never amount to anything it should be left alone. And you were saying now hormone imbalance can cause a lot of things besides... Well the real prevention is, is not mammograms. Mammograms do not prevent cancer. It's early detection at best and now we're seeing it's so early, it's so small, it's detecting things that would never become cancer. The real prevention is balancing the hormones. So hormonal imbalance is something that we need to be aware of real early on. And it can cause other things too. Yes, hormonal imbalances, you, if you have PMS, you've got a hormonal imbalance. The moodiness, breast tenderness, cramping, heavy periods, endometriosis, those are, they're common, mm -hmm. but that's a sign of imbalance of hormones. They need to be fixed, so that's too much estrogen. Same thing with uterine fibroids, even miscarriages. Of course, hysterectomy is because of usually something like heavy bleeding, endometriosis, even osteopenia or osteoporosis, those are signs of hormonal imbalances that can lead to cancer, need to be treated not just thought of as, oh, they're just something I should endure. And if we'd fix that, that's where we should really be emphasizing our, our, all of our medical treatment around prevention is those hormones. Okay, and you have ways to test for that and check your levels. Exactly. We should be testing. Instead of going to get radiation, we've actually found out just in the last few years, it's been definitively shown, and the National Cancer Institute says that breast or mammography actually causes breast cancer. Women have no idea when they go in to get a, a mammogram that one woman out of every 10,000 is going to get, is going to die from getting radiation over a 10 year period from mammography. That's astounding to most women, but that's a statistic from the National Cancer Institute. It's not just some little theory, it's a, it's a proven statistic. So you need to do something else. And if you're going to do anything, I recommend following the U.S. Preventive Medical Task Force recommendations. Don't get mammograms starting at age 40, wait till age 50 and just get them every other year, only up to age 74. That was ignored three years ago by the U.S. by the the whole government because it was thought of as rationing mm -hmm. at a politically unexpeditious right. time. But it should be looking at the hormones. So we in our office, we take patients like we're going to show a slide of my patient Penny who came in. Mm -hmm. We'll show her symptoms. At age 52, she came to see me, but age 34, she had endometriosis so bad they uh, took her uterus and both ovaries. So a total hysterectomy. She no longer made any more hormones, and so she had all these symptoms, uh, in endometriosis, infertility, hot flashes, vaginal dryness, painful intercourse, okay. low sex drive, depression, aches and pains, weight gain, all those things that just kept mounting and building. Finally, she said, I got to do something. She was put on some hormones. Those hormones actually made her worse. She put on Premarin for a while, and then estradiol, and right. we'll and see now yeah. here, when she came to us first, her estradiol level was 8.5, way too high. It should be one to four. That is a cancer-causing hormone. So it's naturally occurring in our bodies, but estradiol will cause cancer, stimulate cell proliferation. And the next one, estriol, is a protective one, and she was too low, just a total reverse. Progesterone, you'll see there, should be 100 to 400. She was less than three. And it's important, too, that you're going to somebody that knows how to read, how to, how to take these tests. There's a lot more to it than just getting a simple blood test. Exactly. And you have a special offer. So if you're watching right now and you're like, this is something I want to address, what is that? We want everybody to learn, number one, what your hormone levels are. Right. It's more important than knowing your cholesterol, a woman should know what her hormone levels are, her balance between the three types of estrogens and progesterone. We want everyone to come to our website, sign up for our free newsletter, get more information, read the articles. If you sign up for the newsletter, you're automatically entered into a drawing for a free hormone test. Gotcha. Measure all three of those female estrogens, progesterone, testosterone, and DHEA. 
and then come and see us. We need to help you get this under control. And this is the prevention that everybody should be doing, not going to get mammograms every year and risking the radiation that could actually take their life. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. Some good information, a lot of information there. So if you want more, you can go to Dr. Hansen's website. It's drhansen.com, or you can always call the number you see right there for the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine.